Hey guys, just Kessie here, and um, this is something that I've been meaning to do. I know I'm not huge on YouTube or anything like that, but this is something that I want to catch your attention when you come to my channel. Why I chose to become a YouTube commentator. Okay, now, I seriously do not care at all what other people's reasons are. So whatever their reasons may be, or what you may seem to perceive from what their reasons don't be, just please don't bring that to my channel, okay? For one, I just like to entertain. I like to make people laugh. I love it when people are comfortable around me. I love that. I love people regardless if they're laughing with me or they're laughing at me. It really does not bother me at all. I love to have fun. I'm a goofball. This is why when I'm playing the game, I can die so many times. I may get aggravated, but then in the end, I start laughing. Because the, sometimes just Call of Duty kind of gets under my skin a little bit. But I have other things that are worth getting angry over. Like injustice. Injustice pisses me off. No, I can't watch the newspaper. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't watch the news. I can't look in the newspapers because there's always something bad happening in it. But when you come to my channel, I just want you to have as much fun as I'm having. This is why I'm always loud. You know, I'm always saying crazy things. You know, that's that's just in my nature. You know, I watched a lot of videos before I started, before I decided to come a YouTube commentator. You know, and I just like to see what different things people say, say like C Nanners and just the other couple people where they gave like tips on becoming a YouTube commentator. And I felt that I really didn't need them because I was just going to be me, pretty much. And you know. I feel that I have a personality that some people can relate with. Like as far as now, I'm just I'm just commentating as the game as in process. But I, um I want to start to do something called wise words, where I talk about different things that I read. Like I consider myself as a spiritual person, though I'm not a part of any organization. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not anything. I'm just Marquise Williams. I'm just just Kessie. That's that's all I am. So I'm going to start a series called Wise Words later on to where whatever your intention may be or if you're feeling down, I will want you to either come to my channel to see me be a goofball or you can come to my channel to just hear just little wise words that I come up with or you can just or you may hear me elaborate on something that I read or something that I heard or how I bounce ideas and I just want to share them with you. It's, it's not about money, you know, and you know. I hear a lot of people say, if you're doing this for the money, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Look, I believe that if gaming is your passion, I believe that if architecture is your passion, if construction is your passion, regardless of what your passion may be, do it because you love it. Do not do it because you're searching for reciprocity. Reciprocity means to do something to get something back. Do not be that type of person. And believe me, whenever you start to follow your passion, you're going to get benefits from it. I believe that this is how the universe works. Before I got all of my equipment, I barely had anything. All I had was a one, all I had was a, a pretty decent laptop, which couldn't run a Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, and I had a DVI monitor. Now I have an Alienware and I ordered my Roxio HD and I have a new monitor and I can and I can pretty much run everything I have my own gaming studio and I love it and I cherish it and, and I really will but the only reason I was able to receive these things is because I was going towards my passion so these things were brought to me and as far as like like spirituality it, it's not as deep as people is I believe that when you become aware of who you are things are going to come to you that's enlightenment Enlightenment is you're not just going to have this glow and all this mystic fever. No, it's, it's, it's nothing like that. Okay. But just back to the topic in hand, and I'm just going to end it with this. I became a YouTube commentator because I love gaming. Simple as that. I love to game. Ever since I was little, I had my very first system was the Nintendo with uh, Super Mario. One of my favorite games was Super Mario 3. With the t When Mario would get the tail with the rare, rare, rare. And fly in the air. I love gaming. When I was younger, I used to get put on punishment from games because I love them so much. They took away the one thing that I love. And you know what I would do? My grandmother lived across the street from my father, and my cousin had a. My cousin always had the uh, 
He had a Nintendo 64 before I had one. I can't remember what system I had, but he had a Nintendo 64. When I would get put on punishment, I would go across the street and risk an ass whipping <laughs> for disobeying my parents. This, this is just how much I love gaming. Like, I didn't care because at the end of the day, regardless if I got my butt whipped or not for disobeying my parents, it would be worth it. This is just Cassie. Follow your passion. That's something I can beg for you. Please follow your passion. Don't do anything just for money. They say that when you do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. This is just Kessie. Good karma to all and happy gaming. Bye bye.